a preview of what the room looks like. So this is the first time we've been at the Auckland Event Centre here. And as you can see, this is usually held for the runway for Fashion Week. But this has been transformed into the gala evening. So the hanging lights, you can see the beautiful table pieces. These tables all empty soon will be filled with competitors slash best buddies tonight as they celebrate the Wears Awards for 2014. As I mentioned earlier, tonight we're celebrating 22 years of the Wears magazine. The Hall of Fame is back again this year as well, which is a real acknowledgement of someone who's given such a tremendous amount of their time, energy and passion to this industry as a whole. And I, I think it's one of those cool things that you think, for those of us who go into these kind of stores to buy our washing machine, our TVs, you know, all our digital things, we don't kind of think about the people working behind the industry. But like any career, when you do this, you love this and you're so, so passionate. And tonight is all about that and the excitement. So soon, these plates will be filled, the glasses even more so, and refilled and refilled, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is what it looks like now. We'll come back for a sneak peek later on to see what it's looking like later on in the night. So as part of Wears TV, I'd like to introduce you to someone that hopefully you all know, the lovely Steve from Wears Magazine, editor. How long have you been with the Wears Magazine yourself, Steve? Seems like an eternity, but actually, I think it's only about five years. And you've been obviously involved with the Wears Awards for those whole five years. Can you tell me what you think the biggest change and growth has been in that time? I think probably a slight lowering of the intake of alcohol over the uh, period of an evening, but um, a lot more people are uh, really embracing it year on year. Um, I think yeah, it's really become an event to be at. I've always called it the Oscars of the appliance industry and it feels like that, you know, it's a great chance to get dressed up, people walk the red carpet, people feel glamorous and it's that night that you actually celebrate an industry as a whole, which, you know, you do that month on month off with this magazine, but it's so great to get everybody from around the country all together in one room, isn't it? I think it, 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 it's, a, it's the magazine's chance to, to give something back um, and to have a bit of fun at the same time and, and just sort of spread the largesse that we see on a, on a month, every other month kind of basis, um, so it, it's fun. It's fun, it's, it's us giving something back, which is which is nice. Can you tell us a little bit about the judging process? No. <laughs> Top secret, I suppose. But I do understand that it's actually incredibly intense, and I understand too that throughout the day today, people that have been finalists have done presentations, and since sort of 10 o'clock this morning till only recently, yep. those judges have been up in a room, powering through all the different information they've gathered as this finalist process. So an exhausting the day in total, right? Yep, I, but it's good fun. It's um, the awards process goes through paper-based judging, facts and figures, year-on-year -year increases, that sort of thing. But this morning we were face-to-face -face with the seven retailer and young retailer finalists and the sales professionals. Um, and when you look them in the eye and really have a serious conversation with them, it all becomes very real and not just figures on a piece of paper. And um, at the end of the day, it's people that win, not figures on a piece of paper. Yeah, it's so true isn't it because it's when you see somebody and you talk to them you actually grasp their passion that's the kind of thing that doesn't go into a piece of paper right? Absolutely because it is people it's all about people there's 420 odd people here tonight and it's all about them it's not about the, um, the bottom line it's about them as people being good at what they do. Absolutely is. And you are good at what you do too. You're an absolute legend. We have a lot of fun working together, I can tell you. Absolutely. I'm fucking special. <laughs> I did not know how to take this guy's sense of humour when I first met him. Dry as dry can be, but an absolute sweetheart. Hey, thanks for the chat. Have a good night tonight. And undoubtedly, we'll catch you up later for a few drinks, right? I am bad. Uh, yes. <laughs> a blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll stop him right there. This is Where's TV for 2014. Back very soon with more wonderful guests to join us on the stage as we find out who the winners are. Hello lovely, welcome back to Wears TV for 2014. With me is the delightful Daryl from Bosch and another massive year for you guys this year, hasn't it been? Yeah, we've had a good year this year, although you know, you have to say that the whole industry has been tough. We've, um, we've done what we wanted to do this year, it's been good. And, and with that obviously comes some acknowledgement, so tonight you guys are up for a big award, how does that feel? Well, it's nice to be um, acknowledged and that's always the first step. If we go any further, that's a bonus, but you know, it's a real credit to the team that we've got this far. Do you know one of the things I love about nights like tonight, that you know everybody in this room is a competitor of some kind, and then on nights like tonight you all come together and it's a genuine celebration of the industry as a whole. That's a, such a cool feeling, isn't it? I agree um, from that point of view, Lee. I, I think as a community we don't do this often enough. Yes, we are all competitors, and yes, from a compliance point of view, we need to be careful what we say. But at the end of the day, as Dave McNeil just said, we're a family. You know? And some of us have been in it a very long time. So. <laughs> He says that very politely. Daryl, always nice hanging out with you. Have a wonderful night with your girl, Megan, and hopefully we'll see you on the dance floor later on. I will try, Lee. I make no promises. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll come find you. Thanks very much, Daryl. 
Where's 2014? As you can see, very, very fun already. And looking forward to seeing exactly how the night transpires. It's a brand new venue. I don't know if you actually had a chance to look inside the venue before the evening starts. So maybe next we'll take a wee peek through and you can see how glamorous the night is. And also we're going to talk to Nick, who's the lady who actually puts this all together, which starts, I think, back in January. There's a lot of work that goes into this to make the night as amazing as it actually is. We'll catch you soon. Welcome to Wears TV, we're back for 2014 and this year it's bigger and better than ever at a brand new venue as well at the Auckland Viaduct Centre. You might recognise this place for being rather glamorous at Fashion Week and equally as glamorous tonight, Cliff from Sunbeam, how you doing? I'm well thanks Lee, I've been called a lot of things, never glamorous. Well there's a first time for everything buddy. So for you this is kind of a big year, you're sort of back into the appliance industry, tell me how things have been going as you've joined Sunbeam. Oh it's, it's great Lee, it's been really good, busy, busy year, a lot to do but an exciting time, really exciting time for Sunbeam so yeah glad to be here really good. and you guys are up for an award tonight tell us a little bit about that so yeah the, every year the wars uh, we celebrate supplier of the year and Sunbeam is up for small appliance supplier of the year which we're really really proud to be associated with so um, yeah you know there's some some hot competitors out tonight so uh, it's always a fun night celebrate uh, success to the industry so uh, fingers crossed Fingers crossed. Either way, it's going to be a fun night, like you say. One of the things you guys have been doing as far as marketing to your to your kind of masses, when you think about small appliances as far as the, the blenders and the mixers and stuff, you usually market to women, but you guys have taken a different stance. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing and why. So for decades, for decades, the appliance industry has spoken to the female in a relationship. So, uh, you know, for, for decades, ovens, vacuum cleaners, for God forbid, washing machines, kettles, toasters, mixers, always been to the woman. So we looked uh, at the opportunity of speaking to a slightly different audience, the man in a relationship, they're spending a lot more time in the kitchen. Really? Not my guy. <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> you need to speak to my wife, because yeah, she makes me. Um. Sounds like she's got it right. <laughs> So yeah, we spent a bit of uh, bit of effort talking to that to that to that customer, and uh, you're yeah, really really engaged in uh, in kitchen appliances. The man today, I understood. I saw a little YouTube clip where you said real men cook, and you guys in Australia undertook a bit of a serious study. Like there was neuroscience involved, right? We literally flew a couple of neuroscientists out from the UK, and they hooked everybody up with uh, EGG equipment and uh, did some scientific surveys, and uh, yeah, we proved that real men cook. And their real woman prefer a guy who can cook rather than a guy who can work a power tool. So what does it say about the modern woman and the modern man? Well, just that clearly that uh, the power, uh, kitchen appliances are the new power tools and uh, kitchen is the, is the new place to be for relationships. I used to hear a saying that there's nothing sexier than seeing a man do your dishes. So this is kind of the next step, I suppose. Hey, thanks for the chat. Have a great night and fingers crossed that you take it out tonight, okay? Thanks, Lee. Cheers. This is Wears TV 2014. We'll be back soon with more guests to see what's happening on this big night. They say start as you mean to go on, and Alan Dalton from Electrolux, you look like you've got this effort down perfectly with two glasses of red. Oh, uh, it's just to be sure, to be sure. Bless. So, big night for Electrolux. Obviously, last year you took it out. How are you feeling about tonight? Excited? Um, we're in with a chance, like everybody else, so we'll see how we go. Um, I was talking to Sandy a little bit earlier and she was saying that the Christmas party is coming up and that she was looking forward to it. I might have told her I knew a little bit about it and that it was up for a good time. Did I, did I tease her correctly? She knows nothing about anything that we do. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, you're always a really fashionable guy. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're wearing tonight because you look amazing? No, simple tuxedo, Italian cut, patent leather shoes, keep it all going and that's about it. I've got to do a little something, if you don't mind. Yep. One thing Alan Dalton's known for is for his fun socks. No. Not tonight. No, no, really? No, no. Wow, I'm surprised. Every time we catch up with Alan, he shows us his brand new socks he's got, and every time we're well impressed. So, wow, interesting. No, no, classic. You are classic and you are amazing. Have a wicked night tonight, right. Alan. We'll see you yeah. later on once you've had a few more of those. <laughs> where's, TV, where's TV for 2014? So much fun. The crowd's definitely beginning to roll now. Soon we'll be going inside to announce the awards and then we'll get every single winner as they come out on the way through. So I look forward to lots of smiling, happy people with a few more glasses of wine under their belts. Welcome back to Where's TV for 2014 at the Viaduct Event Centre, of course brand new venue and brand new frocks I've got to say. Fashion the Field is back again this year and part of the prize of course is a brilliant Nespresso coffee machine which everybody needs in their house. Girls, how you doing? Good. Now, whereabouts have you come from and have you joined us from tonight? Auckland, Auckland base. Yeah. And which proud company are you representing tonight? Nespresso. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, as part of Fashion the Field, are you eligible to win? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we should have asked the bosses about that, right guys? 
So, have you been to the Weirs before? Yes. Yeah, the last two years. Okay, so you'll know all about the famous after parties, right? Yes, yeah, the uh, mentals on the water was pretty good. Oh yeah, so I just want to have a quick look at everybody's shoes, if you wouldn't mind, Andy, our cameraman. Everybody's wearing some pretty gorgeous shoes. Can I promise you that by one o'clock this morning, those shoes will be off and these girls will be dancing, right? Yeah, they're already sore. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty is pain, they say. All right, girls, I'll let you go back to your bubbles. Thanks for joining us and good Thank luck tonight, okay? Thank you. Where's TV for 2014? Beautiful ladies and some very handsome men. We'll find some more to chat to very soon. Welcome back to Where's TV for 2014. These lads are already in for a big night, I can tell. Are you guys having fun so far? Yeah, it is. Good, real good fun at the moment. We've had a couple of photos and. Yeah, bloody oath. It's awesome. Whereabouts are you guys from? Are you based in Auckland or have you come up specifically for this trip? No, nah, based in Auckland. We work with Panasonic, so no, nah, it's good. We were talking to your boss a little while before, he was saying it's been a wicked year of growth for Panasonic and obviously taking some market share must be a cool feeling for you guys, right? Yeah, it's a really good feeling and I mean it's nice to be appreciated too, you know, so no, it's really good and these awards make it worth it at the end, so hopefully we'll take some uh, good prizes away. So yeah. yeah, absolutely. And obviously with a great year business-wise, you could probably expect to have a good Christmas party, right? Always a good Christmas party, never any stories to come from it though. I don't really remember, so. <laughs> Okay, that does sound like a good Christmas party. Kind of dangerous, but good. All right, you boys have a great night. Good luck with your awards this evening. And good luck for Fashion in the Field as well. Hi, Mum. Everybody loves to be on TV. That 15 seconds of fame as well. And tonight, I've got to say, everybody's in such great spirits. You might have heard a few people say earlier that absolutely times have been tough throughout 2014. We are outside of the recession. Obviously, election year always affects sales as well. Great to see now things are settling back in. And as we head into Christmas, business is going to get better and better and better. This is Where's TV 2014 at the Viaduct Event Centre. And soon we'll be bringing you more guests to share the joy of the evening. G'day there, we are back for Wears TV 2014 and with Samsung right at the moment, Neville, how's your night going so far? Feeling a bit nervous or all okay? No, pretty good so far, yeah, good night, great crowd, good people. So obviously 2014, big year, big plans, even bigger for 2015? Every year is getting bigger and bigger, we're, every year we're going bigger, going looking for more and uh, yeah, growth is perfect. Tell us, what have been some of the highlights for you as a business throughout 2014? Um, just growth. We've brought a lot of new categories into New Zealand, a lot of new products and taken a huge chunk of market share from our competitors, which has got to be a great thing. Did you see that grin? <laughs> Someone's pretty happy about that. And as you should be, because it's an incredibly competitive market, isn't it? It sure is, yeah, it very is. And uh, can I just ask, have you been in the fashion in the field as yet? Sorry? Have you been in fashion in the field as yet? No, no, no not yet. Well, not I've got to say, well, looking as you do, three-piece and the bow tie, you've got a really good chance of winning. We are doing that again this year, and this year our major prize is an espresso coffee machine, so go get your photo taken and you're in to win, okay? Thank you. Have a great night, Neville. Nice to meet you. Where's 2014? We are back all throughout the night tonight. Soon we're going to hopefully catch up with Bud Little, who of course earlier this year got awarded the Hall of Inductee fame for his contribution to the magazine world. 22 years Wears has been celebrating this year, just earlier in the June, so I look forward to speaking to him soon and also catch up with some of our other guests. We're back with Wears TV for 2014 and this time we're joined by Sandy from Electra Lux Small Appliances. Sandy looking gorgeous, kind of different glam event this year isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting just looking at the different fashion scents for sleek, stylish and swanky this year. I've got to say the guys look pretty dapper don't they? Oh they do, they do. A number of suitors here I think. Yeah. Oh good call, so it could just be love in the air tonight as well as winning an awards. You guys Electra Lux Small Appliances are up for an award tonight too, how does that feel? Because last year you guys took it out, so this year hoping for the same thing? Look it's always great to be nominated but it's been a tough year and I think uh, everybody would say that we've got some fantastic competition in that category this year so um, I just think you know Wears will be the winner on the night. Absolutely. I think you made a really good point too. It has been a tough year and it's one of those things that that's when it comes down to being so important to keep the morale of the team up. You guys at Electrolux obviously still do lots of great fun stuff. Got anything planned for pre-Christmas as a team? No, we've, uh, we've just recently had a sales meeting and uh, we have a Christmas party obviously coming up which will be a bit of a laugh. <laughs> but, uh, I might know a little bit about that and I can promise you it's going to be fun. Oh great, great. State secrets, we know it all here at Wears TV. Hey, well, good luck for tonight. Thank we'll you. see you after for a bit of a boogie at the after party, yeah. okay? Great. Awesome, Thanks, thank you darling. Wears TV 2014, this is where it's all happening. If you want to take a glance around the room with me, look at Fashion in the Field. This year is brought to us by Nespresso. The winner, of course, is going to be taking home an amazing coffee machine from Nespresso. And you can see the competition is going to be fierce. I, unfortunately, can't even begin to win, which is kind of gutting because this is a new outfit, but 
them's the break. We'll be back soon with more guests and of course we'll be chatting to Simon Little who is the CEO and director for Wears. See you soon. Welcome back to Wears TV and this time I'm joined by my co-host and of course the guy who puts this all together every year, Simon Little. How you doing? Uh, good, good now. Yeah, it's amazing that when the rain comes down, Auckland just stops. So, uh, but no, tonight is um, shaping up to be uh, a fantastic night. The room in there looks great. Um, we've got a record number of uh, guests along tonight. So uh, it's, it's looking very, very good. Um, it, and as I say, it's a great industry. And it looks like they've had a bit of a tough year, so I think they'll um, they'll party on tonight. But uh, actually, that's been the common theme with everyone we've been chatting to is that it's been a tough year. So to be um, acknowledged as a nominee tonight is just accolades a lot. They're all really happy with that because it just shows you what a tough year 2014 has been. Now, I know for you, you've had a really busy day today. Of course, you've been yes. part of the judging panel. Can you tell us a little bit about how that goes? Yeah, well, I judged the sales professional of the year today, and um, I tell you what, there was four extremely good finalists and there was absolutely nothing between them. These guys um, have got a real grasp on the industry and the sales, um, you know, sales techniques and shit they were good and some of them weren't that old either. So um, hey look, but that bears well for the industry. Um, but yeah, it has been a tough year for a lot of people, uh, retailers and suppliers. Um, you've just got to work harder, be smarter, but it's, I for one am looking forward to Christmas. Um, I'll be limping to the finish line this year. But uh, no, we're looking forward to a good night and, um, yeah, and, to, and to have a, you know, catch up with friends and, um, and colleagues. Absolutely. Now, it is a massive night for you. And obviously, there's a lot of people that you need to chat to. So I'll let you do your thing. Great. But I need your help again tonight, Si, because no you problem. and I, are, we're, we're, we're buddies. So we'll see you soon, OK? <laughs> Simon Little, of course, who's taken over the reins from Bud Little, who this year, earlier, was acknowledged as the inductee Hall of Fame himself for the Magazine Publishers Awards, giving a phenomenal amount to the industry back in the day when he started up a magazine which you know like anything when you're an entrepreneur you think well where's the space what are you doing but little had a vision he made it he took it he made it happen passed the reins to Simon and of course his daughter Andrea and now it's going to brand new hands 22 years for Wears magazine and year number four, long number of years that we've been doing the Wears Awards too the bells just rung now that means it's time for people to start being seated nibbles to be had and awards to be given so the next time we catch up we have some winners to share with us. We'll catch you soon for Wears TV. We're at Wears TV for 2014 and the awards have just begun being announced and one of the first awards was for the best retail store under 400 square metres and on behalf of Venice Electrical, welcome Long Bryce. How does that feel to be welcoming that and accepting this award on behalf of the team? Oh, I think it's, it's an honour certainly for the team. Um, Wayne and Ross and, and his team in Electrics in Vicargo. Fantastic guys, real southern men as I said and um, very deserving I would think based on uh, the business they've got there, very successful business. Absolutely and that's what I like to see too, those small town businesses showing the big boys how you do it, right? Absolutely, they know how to look after their community, they support their community, they serve their community and it's yeah, it's a real bonus for the guys, so well done boys. Well deserved too, I'll let you get back to it, thanks for chatting with us. Lots more awards to be awarded very shortly so we'll come back shortly with some more of our finalists and our winners. Garth and Derek have just won a massive award, Specialty Store of the Year, Noel Leamy, you guys must be so proud. Absolutely stoked, you know, we put a lot of work into these stores, it is absolutely a speciality store and, uh, you know, we keep tweaking it and, uh, you know, very proud to feel that we've got this one right. Yeah, absolutely, and I think this is one of the big awards to win tonight too, so I imagine you'll be celebrating in style. Oh, absolutely, I'm sure it'll be a bit of a party on tonight. Yep. Oh yeah, well I'll let you go and get a glass of bubbles, well deserved, and we'll catch you later on for a bit of a boogie, shall we? Brilliant, we will indeed, thank nice you. Nice work guys, thanks yeah. very much. As you can see, this awards are absolutely epic, you can see the energy and feel the passion in the background, and I've kind of always said, it's the Oscars of the appliance industry. You see these guys and these ladies who work so hard, so passionately, and they love what they do, they give so much to their communities, and tonight's all about them and so it should be too. And now we've just been awarded with the best store over 400 square metres and ta-da for Heathcote. Well done boys! Thank you. Thank you very much. So how does it feel, you know, doing it again this year and just obviously just going for a team and what you do and the special things that make your team so amazing. How do you think they'll be celebrating back home tonight? Um, I don't know, I didn't expect to win it today so um, we'll have to go back and decide what we're going to do. I imagine there'll at least be an offer shout, right? Oh hopefully, I'm sure there will be. Definitely. <laughs> nice work boys. I'll let you take your photo. Have a wicked night. Well done. Well deserved. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. Cheers. As you can see in the background, the crowd's clapping, the crowd's going wild and there's some amazing winners being announced as we speak. We're trying to grab everyone as they come through but you can see they're keen to celebrate. So we'll see how we get on and we'll catch you again very shortly. With me now is Brad from Canon who just picked up digital marketing of and digital imaging for the year as well. Big award for you guys, right? Yeah, fantastic. It's the third time we've won it in four years so we're, we're stoked. 
Yeah, pretty good odds for you guys. What do you think that you guys do that makes you uh, the, the winners in this category in so many years? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's um, consistency, it's professionalism, um, it's integrity. Um, we, we don't promise what we can't deliver and I think people really respond to that. Yeah, there are definitely business principles to live by. Nice work, lovely to meet you and enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you, take care. <laughs> We're back for Wears TV 2014 and one of our major supplier winners of the year is Breville. And well done, Brett, this is a massive night. Thank you very much. You know, as I said, we're very proud to win the award and thank our trading partners for, for voting for us. Um, but you know, um, it's a very challenging category. We've got a number of uh, new competitors and new, uh, and new entrants that are coming into the marketplace and um, I'm just so immensely proud of our team and, um, uh, you know, and particularly for their consistency um, and delivering a high standard of customer service. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's definitely about the team that continue to commit and give and give, which is why you dedicated that to one of your staff members, right? I did. And, uh, you know, Pauline has been with us from the beginning and um, really she, um, uh, you know, she, she's one person that, um, like the rest of the team, that, uh, you know, has been clearly dedicated and passionate about the company. And um, But ultimately, at the end of the day, we all come together to, uh, we go to work to enjoy ourselves. And, um, and for Breville, you know, it's, um, you know, if you're looking after your customers and your staff um, and get the best outcome, then... Um, uh, you know, you can you can expect that you should get good, some good results. And yeah, you can get great things, and that's proof in the pudding tonight, right? Thank you very much. Nice work. Thanks for your time. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Todd's joining us from Samsung with a nice juicy award in your hand. How did that feel? Oh, fantastic! It's great. So tell me, as far as the business and the team at home, what does this kind of mean to the whole group of the company? Oh, it's recognition of a, a busy year and a, and a, and a um, lot of hard work from a lot of people. So it's uh, really great just to get some recognition from our peers and from the industry. I think you make a really nice point. It's definitely about your peers in there tonight, isn't it? Like that's when a whole community of competitors come together to celebrate the industry as a whole. And that's a great feeling, right? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, right. I'll let you get a nice glass of wine to celebrate because it's well served. Thank you. Joining us very soon, more of our big winners at Wears TV. Home entertainment is something we are all very, very passionate about. And Stu, you guys should be very proud tonight too, right? Oh, extremely proud. I mean, uh, you know, the team work ex exceptionally hard. We have, um, we have great product and, and certainly we look to deliver, you know, great service to our retailers and partners. So, uh, And so many consumers have Panasonic in their home too. So this is a night to celebrate across the country, right? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And, you know, we're very proud of exactly what we do. And, you know, over the years we've, we've um, won this award, you know, many times and it's something we don't take for granted, but something we certainly believe that um, we deserve and, and we really appreciate, so. I guess it's kind of just as sweet every single time, right? <laughs> Different every year and, and you know, you obviously, you know, you can't take things for granted and for us it's, um, you know, we really appreciate getting the award, so. Nice work, Stu. Well, you have a great night and thanks for your time. Brilliant, thank you. Home Entertainment Panasonic once again, like you said, they've taken it out a few times before. More winners to come very soon as we continue Wears TV 2014 at the Auckland Viaduct Event Centre. We're here with Mark Bailey from Fisher & Paykel, iconic New Zealand brand, and of course, massive winners tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So obviously, as part of this massive night tonight, Fisher Paykel as a whole, Gary Paykel, of course, winning the inductee Hall of Fame. This is a massive night for you guys, right? I imagine you'll be celebrating in style. Absolutely. We always try and celebrate. It's one of those things about having a little bit of fun and working hard. I really like listening to your speech before too. Literally, it's about the industry as a whole and those that give something to it. And you know, you just kind of commented on Smith City there before, and just all those people that are working so hard that um, this is a whole community, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, it, the industry is about our retailers, the consumer, and also providing innovative products, which is what we endeavour to do. And you know, it seems to be working at the moment. Yeah, it does seem to be working. You go have an awesome night. Well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Consumer Electronics is a big, big award for us this evening at Wears TV. And Padnir Lee, big, big winners tonight. Congratulations. First winner, yeah, excellent, thank you. So tell me, as far as winning this beautiful thing, can I ask where it might be placed in the office or at home? Where's this puppy going? Sounds a bit conceited, but we have a trophy cabinet, so it's going to sit in that. It's in our reception area, so as everybody comes through the door, they see the uh, the awards that we've won. Do you know what? That's not conceited at all. That's actually taking pride in the hard work that you guys put in and how well deserved these kind of awards are. There is a lot of hard work goes into it, but it's by the team, so uh, yeah, I, like, I always like to thank my team for doing it. Perfect. Who has the job of dusting those things then? Um, I do have a cleaner that does it, so. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a shared effort? Nice work, well done, and so well deserved. Awesome work. Have
have a great night, okay? Thank you. Wears TV back very soon with that. <laughs> We're at Wears TV for 2014 and with me, Alan Dalton from Electrolux Small Appliance has taken out floor care for the second year running. How does that feel? Uh, big surprise. Big, big surprise. Every year is a surprise. So twice in a row is a huge surprise. <laughs> so can I um, suspect nicely now that you'll have some dancing shoes later on? I was going home early, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I'll see you for a red wine soon, shall I? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> nice, but you can go get your photo now. So a few more awards left to go. Some of the big ones, of course, are the Young Retailer of the Year and the Retailer of the Year, also the Sales Professional of the Year. So we'll see how they get on very shortly. We're at Wears TV. One of the biggest awards of the evening has just been announced for Sales Professional of the Year and Wayne Haynes. Avery Robinson, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Actually, I'm still trembling, so... You actually said that due to the competition on the night that you actually hadn't prepared a speech because you just didn't know where you were going to come. Oh, no, even uh, even at the end of the presentation, I just had no idea at all. So, uh, yeah, to come away with a result was fantastic. The other thing you said, which I thought was quite telling, is that you thanked your wife for her tolerance in the last couple of weeks because, obviously, this whole process of, of you know getting through this is actually quite intensive, isn't it? It was. I, I, to be, to truth be told, I was a bit of a beast, actually. <laughs> I bet you'd say something worse, actually. Oh, <laughs> quite possibly. Yeah. But now that you've won, it's all worth it. You'll go give her a big cuddle as soon as you see her and celebrate in according style, I imagine. Absolutely, absolutely. And the one thing you said, Avery Robinson obviously got some big things next year, I imagine. So, uh, yeah, okay, watch this space. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. It's good year. You have a great night, okay? Lovely, Wayne Haynes, our sales professional of the year for 2014 for Wears TV. As you can see, there's people in the background wanting to squeeze and hug him and celebrate because it's such an amazing award to win and obviously to be acknowledged for it too. So, big night. After the break, we have our big awards of the evening. It is our Young Retailer of the Year and our Retailer of the Year. These are the guys that show us what to expect in the marketplace in the coming years and how they're going to change the world. One of the big awards of the evening has just been announced and this one was a nice surprise because this guy didn't even know that he was going to be winning the award so he couldn't even prepare a speech. Adam Stewart. You've had a massive, massive year and you've just won the Young Retailer of the Year. How are you feeling? Young Achiever of the Year. Yeah. Not you Young Retailer. Young, sorry, the Young Achiever, that's right, yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling with that? Uh, yeah, surprised, um, stoked and overwhelmed and um, yeah, just, it's good, you know, a few years um, being in this game and um, can't believe that I've, you know, got a award like this, so I'm pretty happy and yeah, no, grateful. Nice work, so big night I plan to hit. You just said you'll see everyone after us for a beer, I imagine there'll be a few people wanting to pat you on the back and buy you one. Yeah, I'd say so. So um, I didn't want to go to work with a hangover tomorrow, but it might have to happen. So, um, yeah, nah. I think you'll be forgiven tomorrow for that. I, I think, think so. you will be. Hey, you go for that beer now and you enjoy it. Well done again. It's absolutely amazing. A Young Achiever of the Year for the Wears Awards 2014. Big surprise for this guy, and I think a few beers are going to be bought for him tonight, definitely. It's Jonathan, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. So Jonathan Walker has just taken away a very, very important award. Tell us how this goes. I just saw the whole non-leading team stand up and applaud you. You must be feeling fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, very, very, um, very proud. Very proud to be uh, to receive this award. So I understand there's a lot of legwork that goes into applying and going through this whole process. How's that been for you? Uh, it's been great. It is, it's definitely a lot of work, uh, a lot of effort, um, and support from the team as well. Um, to put up with all the, the hard work that you have to do so and the family and friends. Yeah. So I imagine Lower Heart at Queensgate, the team's going to be so proud of you when you get back but tonight it's all about celebrating with the whole no leaving team so you go out and have a wicked wicked night, okay? Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. Young Retailer of the Year and about to celebrate in true style at the Wears Awards 2014. So our last big award of the evening, and the biggest, the best is the last one, they say, is our Retailer of the Year for the Wears Awards 2014. And can I introduce you to this lovely guy, Dwayne? Of course, Noel Leeming behind you, and obviously the whole Tauranga team. You must be having a heart kind of almost attack at the moment, because that's such a massive thing to win, right? It's absolutely incredible. I, I didn't know I was going to get it, and uh, a lot of work went into it. And uh, But the support from the team and uh, Noel Leeming's in general has been fantastic. So. That's been amazing. Yeah. One of the things I think with uh, the likes of Noel Lehman, it's obviously run as a real family orientated type of business and your first people you thank was your wife and your two kids at home. So obviously they play a massive role for you just in supporting you so you can go to work every day, give it your best and win awards like these, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, my two kids are amazing to me. That's why I get up every day and do what I do. Um, and my wife has been so supportive and she was great helping me out today. Bunch of nerves, so it was really good. 
So. And I bet you're an inspiration to them too. So I saw a whole pile of people before slapping you on the back and giving you hugs. And I imagine there's a whole pile of people now who are about to go and buy you a beer. So we'll let you get back to it. Have an amazing night. You totally deserve it. Well, thank you very much. It was a great night. Thank you very much. Cheers. Absolute pleasure. Where's 2014? The after party's just about to begin. We might have a little sneak peek to see what we can see what's going back on there. Not many more interviews to be had just quietly because I think people will kind of want to get their dance shoes on. Really cool band about to start soon. So this is Where's 2014. See you next year.